Hello everyone, I am Edgar Chavisha and I am here to discuss to you about the employee experience management in a virtual platform. Now this time we'll talk about the level of experience and the sample activities, sample programs. There are actually three level of experiences, level one, two, and three. And in this particular discussion, ikakwento ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga specific uh, uh, nature of activities na napapaloob doon sa bawat level of experience. And I will also define it to you so that it, you can be guided by the descriptive uh, definition of it. Uh, okay, so ito, pag halimbawa nag-iisip tayo ng mga level of experience at the same time, uh, the type of activities, we have to be very creative, okay? So, think of the type of activities that are already in place. Katulad na nabanggit ko kanina, no? so alamin mo, ano nga ba yung mga ginagawa na ninyo? Sino doon or which of those activities that you have already been doing is are transmutable to the virtual platform. Yung po pwedeng i-convert or pwedeng i-apply mo na doon. There are many. I'm sure marami doon sa mga ginagawa na natin ang talagang po pwede naman doon. At makaka, nakakagulat at nakakatuwa na meron palang different way at saka mas fascinating way of doing it than the traditional one that we have been doing, the conventional type. Which ones can cater or work well to promote the culture and which ones are acceptable to management? Kasi, let's face it, hindi naman kasi lahat, kumbaga, parang dapat natin i-post, no? Baka mamaya ang tingin natin doon sa social media platform na ginagamit natin, ay eh, akala natin yung parang personal account natin. Kung ano yung gusto natin, wala na tayong censorship or wala na tayong filtering or wala man lang pag-consideration uh, on the culture na ipin-foster natin sa kumpanya. Baka mawala tayo sa focus na ganun. So, kailangan, kailangan meron din naman kahit pa parameters that will be acceptable to management kung ano yung mga ipinupost. Not all levels of experience may be applicable at this time. So, hindi lahat. No? Merong iba dyan na mamaya ikukwento ko sa inyo kung ano yung hindi applicable. It takes a team and an amount of planning and, organiz uh, and organization of relevant and culture-friendly contents. The presence of a graphic or multimedia artist ay importante. At the same time, yung logistics. No? Kasi meron din kahit pa paano logistics dyan. Especially yung technical aspects of it. You have to squeeze out the creative juices of everyone to realize a great virtual employee experience. So, team kayo. Hindi naman ikaw yung nag-iisa ka lang. At saka hindi naman kinakailangan ikaw yung human resource manager talaga. No? It, it doesn't really matter. If you have that initiative, you present, and you can start out a wonderful um, endeavor for the organization and for the employee to experience. What I will enumerate to you are just some of the many activities that you can do. There can be more that suits your organization. So you just have to let your mind and your creative thoughts flow. Yun nga lang, wag kang masyadong magplano na magplano. Kasi habang kakaplano mo ng kakaplano, mean, meron namang simple lang na pwedeng simulan. At yung susunod na lang, ay yun ang planuhin mo. Pero importante, you have to start somewhere. And uh, at least, nando ka sa level 1. Huwag kang masyadong magmadali na magpunta sa level 3. Kahit sa level 1 ka lang muna, magsimula. And as you go along, then you can gradually move towards the higher levels of the of the experience as momentum builds up and as maturity level of your audience improves also. So, let me take up the level 1 experience. Ang level 1 experience is basically you need directional. One way, type of communicating to the employees. The active party here is are the administrators. Kayo, your management, the one who approves the contents and the creatives. The members of the page and the, are, are the main recipients of the of this contents or of these po postings. No? And they are the viewers, the primary viewers of the posting. Pero, sila ay may passive role. Passive role lang muna sila. Their reaction is limited to the conventional emoticons such as like, love, mga ganyan. No? The administrators and management might not get nga lang the genuine reaction or feedbacks of the recipients out of caution and fear of being misinterpreted or mis may, maybe ma reprimand pa sila. No? Some way, somehow, that can be a reflection of the organizational culture, which may be a big help to the people manager to design programs that would help improve the communication and interaction skills of the employees until such time that they reach the maturity level in interacting within the digital space. Well, medyo pwede na nating iangat ng iangat kung ano man yung nature of postings na ginagawa natin. 
Alright? At saka mas madali na siyang tanggapin ng management at maaprubahan ng management. Now, some examples ay ito. Yung una-una, birthday greetings, napaka-popular niyan at napaka-common. Pero gumawa ka kaya ng, sa tulong ng multimedia artist mo, graphic artist mo, gumagawa ka ng mga ganun na pinapost mo sa bulletin boards, ipost mo ngayon doon sa FB page mo, Employee Service Anniversary. So yeah, habang uh, ano mangyayari doon sa mga empleyado na nag-anniversary ng March, ng April, ng uh, May, kung halimbawa sa kasakali pa. So may mga iba doon na magsa-celebrate. So kung may database ka naman, ilagay mo pa rin doon at i-celebrate pa rin at i-recognize pa rin yung kanilang loyalty to the company. Ito nga lang, yung mga welcoming new employees, confirmation of uh, employees regular status, eh syempre medyo siguro wala, I don't know kung merong na-hire na bago pa o kaya naman meron na regular agad, siguro medyo na freeze muna yon So medyo yung ano muna, yung i-hold i- i- muna natin yun. Pero kapag ka naging normal na, nandun na tayo sa new normal, pwede na nating ipasok yun, yung mga ganong klaseng congratulatory uh, remarks or messages or postings. Including din yung mga employees promotion. I don't know if merong promotion na ginawa during this particular period of time. No? Baka it has to wait. Ang another pwede na pwedeng on a regular basis mong ilalagay, yung quotable quotes. So maraming quotable quotes na pwedeng mga two-liner na quotable quotes na galing sa isang uh, credible person na merong motivational, inspirational, and um, spiritually uplifting contents. Yung devotional prayer, pwede rin naman ito, no? na so para ma-uplift mo yung spiritual life ng mga tao, para maging balanse yung ating uh, dinidevelop na uh, tinatouch na spheres or streams ng mga empleyado para meron silang uh, total or holistic personal well-being na raranasan sa kumpanya. Uh, saluto employees, especially siguro dun sa mga nasa frontline. Kung may mga empleyado kayo na nagpa-frontline, uh, nagpa-perform sila ng frontline duties nila or maybe uh, nasa skeletal force, backroom man lang. Uh, may mga empleyado yata, alibaw sa accounting that they still do the work from home or maybe nag, nag, over, nag overnight stay sa offices na sila yung nagtatapos or tinatapos nila, inasikaso nila yung mga reportorial requirements ng ating kumpanya sa Securities and Exchange Commission and the Bureau of Internal Revenue. May mga announcement on video para doon sa mga special occasions na yan. Ano? So, kung halimbawang hindi man, kahit hindi man doon sa poster, maybe mas maganda rin na kung halimbawang mag-record ka pagkatapos doon sa recording na yun, binabati mo yung mga empleyado na yun. So, medyo, at, may, 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 at least may mas maganda-gandang um, visual impact na lalabas. Including inter-office memorandum. Pwede rin yung inter-office memorandum. Puntahan naman natin ngayon yung level 2 experience. Level 2 experience consists of activities that require applications of certain technologies similar to vlog or FB live, video chat or teleconference, and any other similar platforms where you can elicit feedbacks from employees such as survey or even a meeting like Zoom. At the same time, allows employees to take care of their psychological well-being during the distressing condition. Expression of creative ideas, emotions, thoughts through various medium like painting, poetry, dance, music, uh, those, exam- those are just examples. Virtual as it is, it is interactive in nature compared to the one-way direction in level one experience. Kasi dun sa level one experience, post ka lang ng post. Pero pag dito sa level 2 experience, meron ka ng interaction happening between management and the employees. The company prepares a structure in the activities to guide the interaction towards a specific worthy goal or outcome. Example, trending challenge phase. Alam niyo di ba, dami-daming trending-trending, kagaya yung mga picture na linalamas nila, yung picture nila 10 years ago, o yung 10 years old sila, at saka yung present picture nila, ay, ang dami, katakot-takot. Lalong-lalong lalo na ngayon TikTok, yung challenge na sikat na sikat. So, this is just something to steer laughter and creativity. Kung minsan sabi nga nila, kapag limang puro kalukuhan lang naman yan, actually, medyo hindi rin naman talaga kalukuhan. Kaya lang, we just, for our mental health din, we also have to have that sense of the ridiculous. We have to laugh. There are things that are illogical, maybe, uh, irrational, maybe. Maybe uh, it's just for the laughs. But it gives us the opportunity to open new windows on new frames so that we may see things in different perspective. At doon lumalabas yung creativity. 
So, meron ding gamit yan. Sabi nga nila, laughter is the best medicine. It's a good way to maintain good health, good mental health. Pagsulat ng mga poems, o kaya yung mga songs na baka may mga talented dyan na may mga naisulat sila, marunong mag-gitara, pagkatapos they can record it if that is a song about the COVID-19, about the song for for the frontliners or 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 anything that they were able to compose or sometimes a song that they would like to sing na popular song na na pwede nilang ikantayin at parang i-offer so that uh, they can submit it to the administrators and then the administrator can consider posting it singing of a company jingle or hymn or anthem so parang halimbawa kung yung mga ginagawa ng mga singers doon sa Zoom di ba meron silang Zoom na na may mga kumakanta sila ng mga iba't ibang pictures tapos sabay-sabay sila kumakanta. Maybe somebody uh, from the IT department maybe could help the company do that. And then, kaya, ang kakantahin nila siguro yung maganda, mas maganda siguro kung merong him yung company, yun ang kinakanta nila to kindle the spirit. No? Para buhayin ang ang spirit ng kumpanya. Posting of videos, eto eto maganda siguro. Ito, baka last uh, Christmas, last New Year maybe, or uh, Chinese New Year, nagkaroon kayo ng celebration last January, or maybe nagkaroon kayo ng anniversary celebration in the recent months, or maybe some important occasions and milestones in 2019. Capture them in one video. Pagkatapos may background music na very inspiring, and then put it all together and then post it so that the employees will now recall and relish. No? Namnamin nila yung mga nakaraan nilang mga uh, karanasan sa mga iba't ibang okasyon ng kumpanya noong nakaraang taon. Uh, posting of new photos and the videos that employees can contribute. Maybe may mga gusto silang i-contribute then Maybe you could encourage them to submit their own suggested postings. And uh, at the same time, uh, yung mga motivational materials, hindi naman kinakailangan ng, ng galing lang talaga sa HR, pero pwede rin namang galing sa kanila. Okay? That is the level 2 experience. Level 3 experience naman tayo. Ito. The level of experience consists of uh, the activities in this particular level 3 experience require the application of certain technologies pa rin, similar to that of the level 2, but on a more competitive level or with greater degree of challenge and interaction. Now, at this point, you want to kindle the competitive spirit, the achievement drive, the passion of employees to do and give their best, where they can excel and uh, in spite limitations. It encourages collaboration among employees to participate using the digital platform. So, ito yung digital platform, pinagkakaabalahan ngayon nila, ay hindi lang pang social or pang personal. Ito may pinag ginagamit nila yung digital platforms sa mas functional or productive purposes. The company will prepare a structure in these activities to guide the interaction towards a specific worthy goal or outcome. So, ano ba itong mga ito? Ang uh, example niyan ito, organize a virtual talent contest, for example. Parang Pilipinas Got Talent ba? So, pwede rin naman na ito ay i-categorize or i-classify sila into specific talents. In the Philippines Got Talent, kasi di ba merong halo-halo yan. What, regardless of your talent, you compete with one another. But then there is also another discipline or another uh, school of thought na ginagawa nila pagdating sa contest. Kinaklassify nila, if you're in the dance, the best in, in dance, the best in music, the best in solo singing, the best in group singing, etc., etc. Another one is the FB Live. Yung FB Live naman, cascading of an official directive na kumpanya or status update, pwede mong Pwede mong ina-announce yon in that way. Or maybe, kung hindi FB Live yon maybe in Zoom. Pagkatapos nun, na i-incorporate lang din at na i up doon sa page. And another one probably would be the featuring of the awardees. Kung meron mga awardees ng 2019 o yung mga frontliner. Or kung liba, may mga, may mga model employees ba kayo for the month? Yung mga ganyan. No? Maybe on the previous month, maybe... You could interview them. Dapat may, may host or moderator tayo doon na i-interviewin sila. Nang sa ganun ay magkaroon sila ng pagkakataon na marinig at makilala pa ng mabuti ng mga ka-empleyado nila, kasamahan nila sa trabaho. Devotional. Sometimes kinakailangan natin mas specific at saka mas customized yung messages na gusto nating iparating sa mga empleyado natin. So it would be great kung halimbawa ang, let's say, uh, the preaching of the preacher or maybe the 
the sermon, kung, kung Roman Catholic ang inyong mass, ang service ninyo, uh, for whatever it is, for whatever purpose, whatever message that you want to convey, kumbaga pwedeng naka-customize yun doon para sa occasion na yun. And then, uh, it's also important na makonsider ninyo yung educational learning materials. Maybe you could add the educational learning materials as contribution of every employee kung ano yung mga gusto nilang ituro sa mga kapwa nila empleyado na madalas ang nangyayari lang kasi kasi hindi nila alam yung ganito kasi hindi nila alam yung ganyan so maybe pwede nating mag-share tayo ng ano ng kaalaman sa panahon ngayon tapos i-share lang natin using the virtual platform the digital technology pakinabangan natin siya ng mabuti that is level 3 experience so how do we now conclude this employee experience management well, I would like to say and use this old adage that goes like this. Experience is the best teacher. Every day, there are countless stories that are told in radio, social media, TV, any digital platform available to us. The company and its employees under one work community have many stories worth telling to. Napakarami. Whether you refer to the lockdown period and post-pandemic, this experience has changed and will change the way we all live and work. We may still be conscious about physical distancing, but employees in its work community will always be mentally, socially, emotionally, and spiritually connected with one another, virtual as it may be. But learning from the experience, sa lahat ng mga kwento, sa lahat ng mga pinagdaanan natin dito during the pandemic, employees will realize that a good part of it came from the work community that they belong. Itong dalawang buwan, tatlong buwan, or kung ano pa man, kung gano'ng kat, katagal pa ito, tatagal, ano? Matatanim sa mga isip at sa puso ng mga empleyado na yung panahon na yun, naging bahagi talaga ang kumpanya sa araw-araw na buhay pa rin nila. At sila rin ay nakakapagbigay at nakakapag-interact, nakakakontribute sa pang-araw-araw na buhay na dinadaanan din ng kumpanya na meron ding reduction of their operations. An experience that helped them rediscover the company's unique, endearingly unique culture. Ganun pala kumpanya? Ganito pala yung company ko? As the company continues to enrich that experience, the feeling of pride and great satisfaction may grow for belonging to an organization that overcame what overwhelmed everyone and was there was there for them through sickness and health, through good times and bad. That the company is there for them. And the company can always expect and can always rely on the employees who are with them also during that pandemic period. So that's all for now. And from that time, kung halimbawa magtagumpay tayo, that's the way, and that's the time, and that's the moment that we can really say, kudos! So there you have it, guys. You have seen the video, and I uh, hope that you tune into the next, okay? So please remember to click subscribe, like us on Facebook also. If you have any question to ask, any input that you want to add, or any thoughts that you'd like to share, write it down there. Okay? Until then, bye.